Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Revelation X Thursday night. We are back here in Lafayette, Louisiana for a hell of a show here tonight. <coughs> We are going to see who will go on next Thursday to compete at the Royal Rumble. Will it be the Broken Doll, Dallas Blackheart, or will it be the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries? I'd like to thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Great night of action. Do not want to miss it, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Still fighting the cold. Gonna eat me some peanut butter fudge during the show. And here comes the following Dallas contest Blackheart. is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 187 pounds, the doll Dallas Blackheart. The broken doll Dallas Blackheart making his way to the ring. And while Mr. Blackheart comes out of the ring, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have a, f a friend of mine, um, once known as Zombie Kicks, now Zombie Moon. Um, she has set up a GoFundMe. She's fallen on some hard times, and like I know, some everybody has a little fur baby. Uh, having some problems with. Uh, try and take some bills to care for her little fur baby, uh, Charmin. So, if you would, go hit up Zombie Moon on Twitter. Oops, I'm trying to find her, uh, tweets. Go, um, go help her out. She's she's good people. Like I said, her um, um, go check at Jesse Marie twelve. Enter in zombie and his opponent, X O M B I E from Indiana, -E weighing in at two hundred forty-five um, pounds. The Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. That expense is paid for her, her pup, her fur baby. So go help her out, you guys would mind. So every, every little bit can't, every little bit helps. If you can throw a dollar, or a couple bucks, or whatever, go and help my friend out if you would mind, please. The enforcer is in the ring, ready to go. For some reason, the video on my phone froze. Here we go. Jeffries, starting things off. Oh, look at this, Cradle Pile Driver. Blackheart, going against a former world champion here tonight. He 
debuted against a former hardcore champion. Right now, oh, kick to the kick to the knee. Back spin kick. An enforcer for an elbow blackheart clothesline. Says Jeffrey's down. Blackheart putting the boots to him. Stomp to the back. Blackheart knows what this means. This is an opportunity to main event the Royal Rumble. And the one and only Lexi Monaz is here tonight. After Tuesday night getting payback on Lady Frost when Frost debuted and defeated her. Round three tonight, the rubber match. What is gonna happen here tonight? Blackheart with a Bulldog. Oh, wow. Taking a page out of the Enforcer's book with the Falcon Arrow. Ooh! Pump handle neck breaker, is that it? And no, Jeffries gets his shoulder up. If you guys missed Tuesday's event, it is still on our Twitch. Don't forget to go back and watch it. Like I said, watching that match with Lexi Monize, she just sprinted across the ring. Full of vengeance. Also, Lexi will be competing this Sunday. Revelation X lockdown. As she defends her title against Mrs. Superior One Casey. The enforcer. Up handle suplex. Sending Blackheart up and over. Blackheart sidestepped and gets a leg. Looks like a cutter of sorts. Bomb shot. Oh, brain buster! One. Only a one. Blackheart can't believe it. Oh no, Jeffrey's got him. The cry for help. Is this it? No, Blackheart escapes. Do not see too many people escape the cry for help. But the DTO, Jeffrey's trying to do everything he can. He has to compete later tonight as well in that tag team ladder match. The pack, the untouchables. No miss minds, you are still Rev X Women's Champion. Over on our fire pro branch. You are going in defending your championship. As Dallas Blackheart now taking it to the enforcer. And look at this. Oh, Jeffrey says, I don't think so. He says, I don't think so. Throw to Paul Driver. Just spiked him. Ever just smack him in the face and drops the knee. As Jeffries is waiting, could be another cry for help. 
Yes, it is. As Blackheart not will have his hope shattered, but no, he gets out the cry for help again. Continually find an answer. Brain Buster. <coughs> What the hell the kid doing? Finish the job. Could come back to fighting. Cross body form. Come and drop. And a slam down. He went for a cutter, not happening. Right hand. What in the world is the Enforcer doing? Elbow Suicida! Shades of the legendary Mitsuharu Masawa! The Enforcer flies! Can't underestimate the Enforcer. Locker got his foot cut. Oh, he eats a knee! Man, neither man wins this. I mean, oh, cradle shock! No, only a two. <coughs> oh, this trying to snap the arm of the enforcer. Blackheart trying to do everything he can. He wants to main event his first pay-per-view. Pump hand on neck breaker. He wants to knock off a former heavyweight champion. Can he get the job done? One, two, no! Just an eyelash away from beating the enforcer. Diving elbow, no one. Water in the pool. There's a foot right in the forehead. What, what the, what, why did Jeffrey expose the turnbuckle pad? Enforcer's landing on Showmouth done. Referee. Here we go. Cry for help again. Cinches in for a third time. Blackheart in the middle of the ring. And he's able to get out still. Blackheart thrown down by the enforcer. Caught the leg. <laughs> and now look at this. Shoulder claw. And the referee's oblivious to the exposed turnbuckle. What in the world? Okay, Indian deadlock. Oh my god! Trying to tear the knees up. Went for the cutter, no one home. Oh my god! I think Jeffrey just realized, like, oh no, I just cost myself the opportunity. Jeffrey just cost himself a main event title match. Dallas Blackheart is going to the Rumble. Jeffrey's just bit the bullet. And now Blackheart is going to main event against King Rockstar Devitt. <coughs> and how about this? The superior one, Spike, going to go against a man who's had a hell of a 2021 and Jason Parker. Both men came so close to becoming world heavyweight champion. 
with the Royal Rumble being next Thursday. Who? Who will be in that Rumble match? And what spot? What number will he be in? That's the big thing. The luck of the draw, sometimes the numbers are on your side. Sometimes they are not. <coughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I know we're going to have some surprises. And at the end of the night, we got a surprise announcement. That surprise announcement will be for a lockdown. And here he is, the superior one. The WA United States champion, as well as one Making half of the tag team. Making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York. Weighing in at 242 pounds, Spike! <coughs> the superior one, ready to go. Hello there, Jesse, Mrs. Zombie Moon. Welcome, welcome. I opened up the show and let everybody know about and little his Char -Char. opponent from um, Boston, Massachusetts. If you'd like to post a link here in the weighing chat, weighing in can. at 220 pounds, Jason Parker. And for those who are not here, uh, my friend Miss Zombie Moon here, and having some difficulties as we all do. Um. Right now, a little bit of hard times, having issues with some vet bills for a little Charmin, her little dog. Um, she has a GoFundMe. Um, go help her out. She's good people. Um, someone that I've sat there and I've had my stream on my phone while I drive home from work because I enjoy listening to her and she cracks me up so go help her out um she has a gofundme set up um looks at um does that or hit hit her up here or um uh, official revelation x twitter uh share the links um my personal account i shared the link um pack underscore 316 uh, go check those out and every little bit helps guys just remember sometimes we have issues and we gotta take care of the fur babies so help take care of the fur babies and there's the link oh no problem Jesse <coughs> problem thank you for coming by hope you're enjoying the action this is the second match oh ho, 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 ho. good night spike is down no spike is up I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in I mean everybody for the past couple of years yeah. Well, I can't wait till you come back. I know some things are first, and hey, that's all right. You gotta take care of yourself, take care of the baby first. So it's all good. You just be able to come back when you can. The superior one rolling out of the ring. <laughs> Like now. 
Oh, back elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, also I want to say, like I said, thank you all for coming and supporting my, my stream, supporting me doing commentary over Fire Pro WWE 165. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Broke 150 at the beginning of the year. We're already at 165. You guys are awesome. Thank you. For a guy who just sets her and calls commentary on wrestling. Um, March, um, the first week or so, March, we will be doing um, Sunday will be the uh, RevX Mania for 2K. That Monday will be the Mania for Fire Pro. And after that, um, we won't be doing any more shows for 2K19 unless 2K22 is a bust. Which, hopefully it's not, because I don't think everybody wants to stay on 2K19 for another year and a half. So. <laughs> Spike, kick to the ribs. Parker's down. Spike head of steam. Oh, knee in the face. A running superior knee. Breaking the eyes. Knee lift by Jason Parker. Parker is looking to Oh, kneecap brain buster looking to upset a former hardcore champion. Cut the leg, eat the knee from Spike. Our clothesline, but oh, look at this. Parker's back up. He's not going down. Snap suplex. Jason Parker, one of the bright young stars here in Revelation X. Line form shades of Tito Santana there. Oh, form again. Make it two. The Gunner and a Pele right in the head of the superior one. Spike is in trouble. Oh no. He felt it coming. He's like, I don't think so. Spike sets him in the ropes. Kick to the leg. Oh, big left hand. But Spike. Oh, wait a minute. Rip cord. Superior knee. Two. Oh, no. It was two. He got his shoulder up at the last second. Spike can't believe it. He thought he had this match done and over with. Back elbow by Parker. Hard Irish whip. What in the world is Parker doing? Oh, is he going to do what I think he'll do? Yes, he does. Running flatliner. Running twisting flatliner. And no, these men are giving each other their best shots. And Parker split open. These guys, I mean, they gotta come up with something new. They wanna beat the other man. What? What? Oh. He is setting him up. Could be that springboard European uppercut. And it is. And Spike quick into the pen. He's not wasting any time. And only a two. Jason Parker. The heart. The resilience of this young man. All right. 
Superior knee. A running superior knee. Could be the end of it. And it is. Spike before the Royal Rumble next Thursday picks up a victory. Man, I'm shocked that, wait a minute. I mean, he did this to Dallas Blackheart. Oh no, come on. Come on, Spike. Are you kidding me? You're gonna stoop that low? Just a man who put up a hell of a fight in this match? And these fans letting the superior one have it. Takes a chair to him after the match. Simply uncalled for here. But ladies and gentlemen, the Turkish nightmare, the Turkish monster himself, Draven, will be locking up with Ron Falk Jr. RFJ has been away taking care of his health, but he is back and he is ready to go. I mean, you got to imagine RFJ is looking to open some eyes ahead of the Royal Rumble. I mean, Draven has been going through and dominating. Thirty, he won the Icon Championship Wrestling Hardcore Title. Making his way to the ring has been dominant from since. Istanbul, Turkey, <coughs> weighing in at three hundred fifty-five pounds, the Monster Draven. Raven is here. Yeah. And this man means business. He is not here to play. He is here to win and just think, if if he's in the rumble, and if he gets a like slot twenty or a, or high number, and he comes out there, I mean Draven has a good shot at winning the rumble. If if the guys don't realize, hey, we got to double team this guy to get him out of here, then I mean Draven could win it all. I mean, he's no stranger to main eventing and be facing a champion. And here he is, Ron Falk Jr. And his opponent from Erie, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 252 pounds, Ron the Rockstar. The PA native. He is ready to go. That's I mean, he wants to build momentum for next Thursday. I mean, it could be, who knows? I mean, some of these matches could finally uh, have implications on where they interact. And there's the bell. Ron Falk Jr. wrap around DDT to the monstrous Draven. And Draven gives him a receipt. Of 
I mean, you wonder if RFJ might have made a mistake in doing that. Right now, Raven snaps him down. Ooh, kicking the back. Went for a clothesline, Falk. Rep right DDT again, and sends him face first the match. He needs to keep Draven off his vertical base. Keep him on his back. But he led to his feet, and I mean, that's not a wise thing, especially with this monstrous man. And now, Gut Rich. These fans don't know really what to make of Draven. Here we go. There's the headbanger. And could be loading up for that spear. Yes, he is. And Draven split open. I did not see that. It was split open when he went face first. Down with that headbanger, that impaler DDT. Now Draven smashing the arm in the mat. Dragging him away from the ropes into the center of the ring. Oh, that's a big chop. Big nasty chop off the ropes. Big splash, got some hang time. Comes down crushing Ron Falk Jr. And Falk sends Draven out of the ring. How oh, you gotta exactly do it next Thursday. Nice spinning wheel kick. This guy's got to watch that. Watch that 10 count. Can I have tunnel vision? And Draven knows that. He don't want to get counted out. Hop up, sending face first. Big slam. That amateur wrestling like slam. <coughs> Now there's Draven down the side headlock. I mean, he's make, right now he's trying to make Draven exert more energy to try to get up, try to get out of it. And well, Draven does get out of it. And again, that wraparound DDT has really been the proverbial Achilles heel. Oh! He hit the splash, knocked him down, he bounced off. Three. Back body drop on the outside. The Turkish nightmare. There, I said, watch the count, he did earlier. And this crushes him in the corner. And his Grabbed him by a leg. Grabbed him by a leg and just threw him. I mean, that's just insane. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Pounce! He just pounced him. Taking a page out of Ken Washington's playbook. And the running power slam. One, two, and how in the hell did Ron Falk Jr. after getting pounced out of his boots in that running power slam? I mean, and Draven loading up for another one. Oh no! Side rushing leg sweep and a beauty. Power bomb. Oh my God, he got him up. He 
He folds him up with a power bomb. What power? And no, into the Boston Crab. He has him by the thigh. Has more leverage, but Draven able to escape. Ron Falk Jr. kicked to the ribs. Oh, look at that! Into the rear naked choke. Trying to put the monster, oh! And the monster taps! After being out sick, taking care of personal issues, Ron Falk Jr. comes back and wins. Oh, wait a minute. And look at this, you're gonna love to see this. Great sportsmanship here in Revelation X. Two men showing respect for one another. And how about this? Her constant pursuit of revenge against the pack as Alicia Angel goes up against the Barbie, Kendall Rose. These two faced off Monday night and then competed in a tag match Tuesday night and now they're going one-on-one -on -one again. Kendall Rose has hell been on revenge. She lost an opportunity Monday night to be part of that um, battle lockdown battle royal, and I mean we, we got our six. We don't know who the final two entries are. The winner of the battle royals will go on to Revex Mania Four to face the women's champion. Alicia Angel qualified, as well as the Enforcer's girlfriend, Jamie Johnson. And we got some fans cheering for the Barbie, Kendall Rose. <coughs> Alicia Angel, former RevX Women's Champion and Tag Champion. Kendall Rose, two-time Women's champion over on the Fire Pro side. <laughs> Making her way to the ring. Oh, I don't know why. From London, England. It's not a Alexa Bliss, ladies and gentlemen. That is Alicia Angel. <coughs> Welcome, Blackheart Gaming. Welcome. Well, Blackheart is <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome, welcome. Great show so far. Um, Blackheart, um, send me your Twitter and, and whisper, her please. opponent, accompanied by the Enforcer, um, Dallas or Effect, Jerry can beat it. And uh, he can beat it over the with the Enforcer. Kendall Rose. And Jeffries inadvertently got himself disqualified via low blow. So Dallas Blackheart will be Main eventing is at Dallas Blackheart or underscore Blackheart. Um, so Dallas Blackheart will be competing next Thursday night against the rock star King Devitt for the Revelation X World Heavyweight Championship. So 
Well, that's going to be a hell of a matchup next Thursday, but right now, collar and elbow. Kendall pushes her back in the corner. And a clean break, I am very surprised. Another collar and elbow now pushing Kendall Rose to the ropes. Referee breaking it up. Oh! Left hand by Alicia Angel. Uh, you, you literally just missed him. You and Ron Folk Jr. had a match. Uh, Draven pounced him out of his boots. Um, slammed him twice. Ended up getting put in a Karafuda clutch and submitting. Hell of a match, though. Um, so, also, um, Lance and Blackheart. <clears throat> And for those who are also joining us as well, sorry to take away from the stream, but uh, my friend here, Zombie Moon, she has a GoFundMe set up for um, uh, vet bills for her dog, Charmin. Um, anything you can do to help donate, a dollar, a couple bucks, whatever, she'd be greatly appreciated. Help take care of fur baby. Hey, Jesse, you know me. I told you I was going to promote you. I was going to promote it. I told you that. Hey, that's like if in out of character, that's like if my dog Zeke was still alive and I could pay his bills, I would be doing the same thing. So... Unfortunately, my baby's no longer here. So, but yes, go help her. Um, like I said, anybody you know, pass the word along. Hey, 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 no tears, no tears. Hey, that's what friends do. Uh, it's all good. What friends do, and we got a chair in the I totally missed. Yeah, Lance is good, dude. Lance. Ow. And I just hit my wall, and I dropped a figure up on the wall. I love that. Undertaker is attacking me from behind. But anyways. Got a chair in the ring. Now, Alicia Angel. Oh! Modified. Unprettier, as she calls it. That single knee code breaker. And Angel puts her in the corner. And the rest. Finally realizes they're a chair in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize sometimes, especially on our, fight, our 2K. Wrestling very smart. I mean, they're not like a referee on, on PlayStation, Jerry Lynn. Absolutely. Even your family, even Cousins, dogs that are almost, you feel like you're almost yours. My cousin had a golden retriever when I was my buddy. And he passed away, unfortunately, last year. So, yeah. Losing a, losing a fur baby sucks. Ooh. These ladies just going back and forth. Angel Vice locked in. Angel trying to get the submission. Kendall holding on. 
And she does. Aw. Diving elbow. Man, I'm a dog and cat guy, so it don't matter which one it is. I'm And I think most dogs and cats can sense uh, that what kind of person I am. Yes, 2K22 does look good. Oh, back elbow by Kendall. Forearm. These ladies. Pop up. Angel snaps with the Frankensteiner. And Angel having words with one-time tag team, mixed tag partner, the enforcer. Well, actually, I mean, that's more of a trainer. I mean, Jeffrey really took her under his wing and trained her. I mean, Alicia Angel came back at the beginning of January uh, from a broken neck, broken back, never thought she, she would wrestle again. There's the unprettier. One, two, and the a Barbie gets vindication. I mean, you gotta imagine also the enforcer distracting the referee when Angel could have had this match won. There's the Angel vice. Now the angel lock, trying to go for the win. Jeffries. Here is your a winner, major factor Kendall here tonight. Rose. With her pack stable mate, making sure she won. After Kendall lost a tag match this past Tuesday and losing Monday night. And now we got the rubber match, Lady Frost and Lexi Monize. Lexi will be defending her Revex Women's title this Sunday at Lockdown. Oh, on the Fire Pro branch. As she faces Casey. Inside the steel cage. Should be a hell of a contest, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> also, ladies and gentlemen, I stated earlier, um, we are at, as I go through, we're at 166 followers. What was that 165? And wait a minute. They're not even making it to the ring. These two are in the back. And now, oh, it's breaking down. Uh. Well, Jesse, you are awesome. That's eh, all right. Thank you, you are awesome. <coughs> no, you are. Ah! We got a backstage brawl. Oh, what a lariat. These ladies, I mean, you're not gonna find better women's, better ladies wrestling other than Revelation X. You're not gonna find any other better talent. Whether it's here on the 2K branch or on our Fire Pro branch, you're not gonna find any better women's wrestling fans. You can go to any of these little other promotions, you're not gonna find any better women's talent. I mean, we got 
TNA Impact Knockout, Lady Frost, here in Revelation X. Lexi Monage, who has held like, like 20 some time champion, women's champion held but her out her career. Oh, like I said, 20 some different women's championships. I mean, you're not gonna find any great talent. No, like I said, that one I was telling you about, that was just a, um, I was just doing that just to mess around. I was bored, I wanted to watch Rumble. No, the actual Rumble is this Thursday. Well, next Thursday, I should say. <coughs> 26 times. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you. Lady Frost on the equipment box. Man, sorry to jump down. Lexi Lana has held both RevX women's titles. Currently, right now, holds one of them. Holds the Fire Pro branch. And one of the room, big kicks. Knocks the table over. I'm not sure why would anybody watch Monday Night Raw and they can watch Revelation X. Oh! Chair right to the face. These ladies showing dire hatred to one another. Lady Frost did not like getting humiliated this past Tuesday night. Hammerlock DDT, she about missed the chair. That means you never know. Finding one, finding girls to actually play the game is hard nowadays. All the locker rooms she goes, back in the locker room, whipping her through the hallway. Ooh, that elbow, Stunder. My God, German Suplex on the concrete. And she leaves Lexi Monai's laying. Leaves her laying, she's gonna get the hell out of there. You gotta imagine this, this feud is far from over. And ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening, the Untouchables, Brandon Alexander and Lukey Murphy will challenge the Dangerous Alliance, Tonga and a Kane Crom, as well as the Pack, the Maniacal Monster Manson and the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. And ladies and gentlemen, there's a briefcase hanging above the ring. The winning team in this TLC match will go on to face the Kings of Harlem next Thursday night at Revelation X. I don't know why I'm going to say Survivor Series, but Revelation X Royal Rumble. Top three teams in Revelation X. Should be a hell of a contest. Fast-paced action. And there's no tags in this match. Tornado rules. Every man in the ring. Actually, in the ring, out of the ring, 
Tables, liars, chairs, oh my! It is going to be a war. All three teams are former tag champions. <coughs> Should be a hell of a contest, fans. Again, we'd like to thank you all for allowing us to be here, allowing us to come through your phone, computer, a uh, game system, whatever the case may be, and allowing us to entertain you. We thank you for the support from everybody. I mean, the last three years, 2019, I mean, the support has been insane ever since. I mean, going through. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, for those who don't know, fighting the cold. <laughs> so, again, I'd like to thank everybody. Like I said, 166 followers. We're having a good old time. We got Moza Shar Shar in the in the chat. <laughs> and Miss Number One Sixty Six, Miss Jesse. As we got the Crom Brothers representing the Dangerous Alliance, making his way to the ring. Kane and Tonga. At a combined weight of Kane, one thousand sixty-five pounds, the Samoan Bruiser Akane Crom, and the Samoan Nightmare Tonga Crom, the Dangerous Alliance. Former tag champions, Tonga Crom, the smaller of the two. Two-time tag champions. Originally won the belts with the chosen one, Devin Harrell. <clears throat> and won it with his older brother, a cane crumb. These fans here tonight are getting a major treat. You don't see ladder matches very often. But tonight, three teams. Who wants the number one contendership the most? <coughs> and, and there his they are. First, at a combined weight of 438 pounds, Brandon Alexander and Luke E. Murphy. Luki Murphy, Brandon Alexander. Hey, first you gotta be King Devitt. And King Devitt's not an easy man to, to face. He's a two time champion. He has successfully defended his gold. <clears throat> I hope you don't have new. I hope you don't have um, more logos. And his because first, hope it's all in game stuff because uh, my pounds, logo slots are about full. Mason and the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. Oh, by the way, Jesse, the bald guy walking in front. Uh, that's my character. That's just me without, without a beard. That's pretty much me when I don't shave. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, he low blowed you. Did not realize the ref was looking. 
So. Well, you, you never pinned or made a submit, so. It's fast and furious action. Jeffries, Alexander, those two have a history. Hard punch. Vincent going after Hunga Krom. Luki going after I came from. Got a table on the outside. Luki trying to. What are we going to do here? Oh, Jeffrey goes face first into the mat. We got another table. Jeffrey takes the chair and bounces it right back to the head of Alexander. A table set up in the ring and it went down. Murphy has a chair. We got action on the outside, action on the inside. Gotta wonder when one of these men will climb up. Power bombed him down. All he does is smacks him right in the face. And Jeffrey with a chair. He's beating the crap out of Brandon Alexander. We got two ladders in the ring. Jeffrey's following suit. <coughs> we go. The enforcer's landing by Jeffrey's. He didn't have a successful night. Hey, he said he wasn't pinned, he wasn't submitted. DQ, running headbutt, defusion. Jeffrey went for a super kick. Nobody home. Blunt force trauma. Thrones are down. Falling reverse DET. Jeffries hammering Lukey Murphy that ladder. <coughs> Forcers laying on Murphy. Alexander's in the ring. With a cane from and Jeffries. Uptown guy, welcome, my friend. <laughs> um, well, ladies and gentlemen, I said we got a big announcement about surprise for lockdown. Well, the men's bar royal. We have someone that you never expect to come in to Revelation X. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a legend. He is a Hall of Famer. He has one man you do not want to piss off. Ladies and gentlemen, 
One of the entries in the Battle Royal this Sunday. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be at Revelation X Lockdown, a part of the Battle Royal. Murphy's climbing. Tonga's climbing. D-ball. And Tonga goes down. Jeffries. Oh! Alexander got plowed over. A cane got laid out. Jeffries on the ladder. Manson running interference. Hammer blow the back. Oh my God, the pack won. The pack will face the Kings of Harlem next Thursday at the Royal Rumble. Discus closed on the outside. Action was everywhere. Insomnia 2.0. Jeffries hit not one, but two defusions. Here are your winners, Mason and the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. The Pack are your number one contenders. They will go on to face a team that they have beaten before in the Kings of Harlem. They will face them next Thursday night. But both of these men have title matches this Sunday. And ladies and gentlemen, lockdown will be 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Sunday. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for everybody being here. And hopefully she don't cry on me. But ladies and gentlemen, as I stated earlier, we all fall in hard times. Good friend of mine, Zombie Keg, Zombie Moon, falling on hard times. Try to take care of vet bills for her little pup. She has a GoFundMe. If you can, donate what you can. Greatly appreciated. Um, I, I've also shared the links to the GoFundMe on both um, my personal Twitter, the pack underscore 316, and Revelation X's uh, Twitch, um, Twitter at Revelation X. Please go help if you can. Like I said, sometimes we all fall in hard times. We've got to take care of our fur babies. Sometimes crap happens. So if you can help, greatly appreciated. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming in here tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for Blackheart, Lexi. Town guy. <coughs> Mr. Lance Lightning himself. Yeah, he does. That's how I got his wrestler. Yeah, man. I started at seven. I had a lot of singles matches going on. Well, I mean, I mean the this, this stream the my five two K shows over, but you know what? Screw it! Everybody got requests for matches. You want to see some matches? Uh, put them in the chat. Let's let's see what you guys got. Any requests?
If I have that wrestler, I'll put him in a match. Let's keep this bad boy going. Let's keep this night going. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. <coughs> I got some match of them all fucked together. You know I don't have Mad Max on here. Hey, 2K22. Cross-gen uh, CC. Cross-gen community creation, so... It's gonna, it's gonna be on. Come 2K22. My show's gonna be crazy. You know what? Just because I've I seen these two, I uh, have some words in the chat. Uh, let's go. I can't grit with a damn. I'm horrible. I have someone grit my guy. Like I said, we're going to take some requests. We're going to have some fun. So grab, grab your bag of popcorn. Grab you some snacks. We got any matches on here. Oh, you're welcome there, Jesse. No problem. Dude, I'm on I'm on Xbox there, town guy. <clears throat> and Blackheart. Ooh. And he sweeps him and turns him in the corner. Raven taking a beating from Dallas Blackheart, the number one contender. And he gets tossed around like a rag doll. Raven, who did not have a good night tonight, ended up getting submitted. <coughs> so I grabbed my Pepsi Zero. Oh, well, not Pepsi Zero. My big reds are out, I should say. Ooh. And the big man with a drop kick. So, Jesse, how's my um, commentary skills for wrestling? What you think so far? I know what, I tell everybody, I go, I think I'm the best dude. Ooh, that's not good. I tell everybody, I'm, I think I'm the best one in the, doing this stuff because I actually know my stuff and try to put people over. And I know, I know their moves, I go talk to them. I'm sure oh, uh, cool BP there thinks I'm pretty stinking good. And just putting the boots to him. Slingshot guillotine. Oh, I mean, like I said, we'll see what we can do with that. A flipping seated centaur. That's new. I mean, with this, you think you've seen everything with this 2K19, and you don't expect that. And 
Draven. Runs him over. Benches the arm down. Blackheart. With a falcon. Gets the big man with a falcon arrow. Hey, Blackheart, I got a bone to pick with you on the falcon arrow. That's the enforcer's move, dog on it. Quit stealing my stuff. <laughs> oh, whoa, wow. Pump handle neck breaker. Holy crap. Holy crap. He did not just beat Lance. Oh my God. Welcome to the catacombs. Wow, the broken doll. Beats the Turkish monster. Raven eating a second loss for the night. <coughs> Here is your winner, the doll, Dallas Black Heart. Dallas Blackheart, the number one contender, scores a victory a little after our stream here. <clears throat> So, just because I always wanted to see what would happen, these two now would fight. Well, I mean, you know how finishers are. So, and like I said this match is kind of we're going to see I'm finding Mitsuharu Masada Masawa Kajushka Okada, the Rainmaker, just because everybody knows I'm a Masawa fan, I'm an Okada fan. <coughs> All right. Oh, I'm fighting Ken Washington in Wrestling Cup Classic. Oh, joyful. Well, that's a W. <coughs> Well, like for this load, um, 
See if I can find Mr. Dallas Blackheart. Blackheart Street. The following contest Blackheart. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 260 pounds, Marcella. Trying to find your uh, thing there, Blackheart. <clears throat> and welcome, his CJ. From Japan. Welcome, welcome. Weighing in at <coughs> 232 pounds, the professional. Uh, no, I couldn't find it. Twitter is being stupid, not loading. Get up. Yeah, I can't find you on here. Um, it's all right. Here's my um, here. Dally Wolf Dog. <coughs> God, look at that. I added you on uh, PlayStation on Xbox. And these men right now. Ooh, neckbreaker by Okada, the Rainmaker. Wrenching the neck of Masawa. I just sent you a thing. There's my uh, Twitter there. The black guy, that's my main one. <coughs> Double arm submission by Mitsuharu Masawa. Oh, nice kick by Okada. Okada up and over the clothesline. Getting ready to fly. Big cross body, no water in the pool. Okada with a kick to the ribs. Three. On a three, they're back in the room. Oh. Kata hung out to dry. Sorry, Masala hung him out to dry. Back waist lock, doing a little spin. Uh, yes, I do. Same thing. 
Same thing as uh, my Twitter, pack underscore 316. Got <coughs> a neck from the neck. Here we go. He was looking for the Rainmaker. <coughs> I can totally not see what he hit him with there. There you go. <coughs> Oh, Emerald Flosion by Mitsuhara Masala. The inventor of the Emerald Flosion. And Masala will not keep Okada down. The heart, the resilience of the Rainmaker. Multi-time IWGP champion. Masala. <coughs> Multi time. All Japan Pro Wrestling Triple Crown. Uh, GHC Heavyweight Champion in Pro Wrestling Noah. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Okada with a drop kick. A rainmaker now. Right across the knee. Ooh, Masala with his own drop kick. Look at two. Lost body. There we go. Tiger driver. And he didn't hold him. Why on earth did he not hold him? Rainmaker. Okada with the Rainmaker. <coughs> You know, and Masala gets the shoulder up. Oh man, kind of kicked that out. Ah, excuse me, kicked out of each other's big moves. <coughs> Go, Emerald Flosion again. But too close to the ropes. Um, also, tomorrow night, um, 9, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, um, Cool BP12 will be streaming. And I'll be making an appearance, taking some people's teeth down their throats, all the good stuff. Okada defeats Mitsuhara Masala. The neck breaker. I should be able to find your guy by going most recently. <clears throat> That's all I found him before. Here is your winner, The Professional. All right. <coughs> We're gonna do this match, we're gonna do one more.
You know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to do a chamber. <coughs> we're going to do an elimination chamber. <coughs> As we're going to do cruiserweights, Billy Kidman, Yoshihiro Tajiri. I know I know it's like hell. P. Williams, the Canadian destroyer. <coughs> Pack. Oh, let's see. <laughs> A man that I hope is on the Rey Mysterio thing. is this man right here i pray that he's on the game in the ray mysterio like 95 starcade or 96 starcade i hope and pray he's on there i want jushin thunder liger he's a lot heavyweight but uh, i could probably still you throw him in there just for the hell of it hayabusa Great Sasuke. And some for some of you who don't know who the hell the great Sasuke is, look him up. And the amazing red, the man that Rey Mysterio got the sunset flip powerbomb from. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> So, I'm turning entrances off, so. So, we have the great Sasuke, Petey Williams, Billy Kidman, Tajiri, I'm sorry, Yoshihiro Tajiri, Pac, and the amazing Red. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Never know, man. After this match, we'll have one more match, and then we'll be done for the night. Um, and who knows, I might do something tomorrow after work or whatever. You never know. I know I will be playing some people on here and stomping some people, so who knows? I might stream some Friday 13th tomorrow night. Never know.
the cruiserweight. Some men probably never face each other. Oh, you missed one singles match. We got a Elimination Chamber full of cruiserweights. Tajiri and Pat starting it off. <coughs> nice driving screw leg whip. Tajiri, former WWE Cruiserweight tag team, former ECW TV champion. Pat, former Cruiserweight champion, former NXT champion. A lot of high flyer. <coughs> now, Max has not really made for flying because you got steel on the outside, fans, and steel's not going to be all too good. <laughs> oh, oh, the imploding 450. Here's a no, thank you. Hit him with a Frankensteiner. Who's gonna be the next one out of the pod? Mitch and Noku Driver. And it is. A Canadian destroyer, P.D. Williams. Ooh, nice possum. So, a little fun fact about P.D. Williams. That, so, uh, before I ever got an Xbox 360, I had PS2 and impact of course because I was a big fan of TNA <coughs> and I find out that when I got when I got an Xbox 360 when I found out PD Williams was a DLC I'm like I gotta get it I gotta get PD I gotta get, I wanna do the Canadian Destroyer. I wanna do Canadian Destroyer he does. Ooh, Brain Buster. A competitor so sure has enough, been eliminated. Oh, Pack is out of there. Wow. Pack is gone. After the jury, Brain Buster. Running kick. In comes Billy Kidman. <clears throat> One more cruise away. Tag champion, WWE Light Heavyweight Champion. So I bet I'm a big PD fan from back in the day. Oh! What well, dropped it, no one home. <coughs> I know I was really happy when SVR 11 came out and they added the Canadian Destroyer. Regal Plex. Which, like I said, Canadian Destroyer is one of my favorite moves other than the Sharp Shooting Emerald Flosion. I hate seeing people in the wrestling business nowadays just take crap all over it and use it as a spot move. Oh. The cheer with a dragon. Busting out his old finishing move. Here comes the great Sasuke. 
<laughs> if people remember uh, WCW vs. The World on uh, PlayStation. Uh, he was known as the Black Ninja. An independent union. And I, I love you. I love you, Sasuke, on that game. But I was more of a Ultimate Direct. You know what? I was talking about Liger being um, on the DLC. Hoping he's on there. I want him to bring back Ultimate Dragon. Since they're doing the whole Rey Mysterio thing, I want them to bring him back. I want Ultimate Dragon back on WWE Land. <coughs> BK Bomb! She's a Jerry. Only one elimination so far. That was a uh, pack eliminated. I belly to belly, shaving him under TA. And here he is, the amazing red. All the Russell fans out say, oh, Sunset Flip Powerbomb, Ray started doing it. No, Ray got it from Amazing Red. Ooh, off the cage with a splash. Spinning around with a splash. Sasuke takes it in the air. So yeah, that Sunset Flip Bomb, that's the code red. And there's a kid crush on the outside. Two, trying to eliminate the jury. He surprised he did not get eliminated. He's still down. <clears throat> Kidman goes face first in the steel. Harmon's carry. Nice neck breaker by Red. That's crazy. No Red. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The code red. And red didn't go for the pin on it. Well, now he does. Two. A competitor has been and eliminated. He's gone. Oh, oh. Here's that pod. Kicking out. Oh, there's the 718. Amazing red. And we're going to go a swinging. That's right, we're kicking it a little overtime, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> do one more chamber match or maybe eight man match after this. Ooh, flatliner. Your boy here is gonna call it a night. A competitor has been eliminated. Kevin's gone. A competitor has been this eliminated. The great Sasuke. I'm sorry, Sasuke is going down to Amazing Red and Petey Williams. No way. Oh, cross body. I think he's going for an infrared. Crushes Petey Williams. I'm just. I'm waiting to see the destroyer. Our clothesline. So I am waiting to see a Canadian destroyer here. But you're gonna hear me be a nerd if he hits it. That's one thing I'd like to see live to see. So I heard he's working for WWE now. But I love to see him hit 
one Canadian destroyer. Well, it was, I've seen it live from other people. I want to see Petey hit a Canadian destroyer. Because it's not the same without seeing Petey do it. Because nobody kicks out of a Petey Williams destroyer. And Red just kicked his head off. Back and forth matchup. To the head. It's a nightmare. Petey's very tangible. Now uh, with a big high flyers. Oh, that would that would hurt on the outside. I don't think Red wants that. Red does not want a Canadian destroyer on the outside. Red is going bouncing off that pod. And again. And again. Petey just abusing him. And Petey just having some fun at the expense of amazing Red. Now Petey just pulling the good old spam tactic. He read. For Christ's sake, get him off the pod. Assignment. There we go. Now we go. Now I got that stopped. <laughs> and there's no way in hell Amazing Red doesn't ever. That bugs me. He never done Emerald Flosion. Ever. Canadian Destroyer! Petey hits the Destroyer. It's over. One and done, baby. Oh, bull. Nobody kicks out of Canadian Destroyer. Destroyer and he KOs him. Petey Williams with the dub as he hits Amazing Red with not one but two Canadian Destroyers snapping out the Frankenstein from Kidman. There's the Dragon Suplex, no bridge, all impact. Sasuke is smashing the arm. BK Bob from Billy Kidman. <coughs> Red there pinning Tajiri. Trying to get Yoshihiro Tajiri out. Here is your winner, Peter Williams. Petey Williams. With a W after KOing Amazing Red with a Canadian Destroyer. <coughs> For anybody that knows me, I'm I'm a big Japanese wrestling fan. We're going to do Battle Royal style. We're not going to do no high school gym. <clears throat> we are going to do the old the Smackdown Fist arena. Why? Why not? <laughs> uh. 
So, let's see here. <coughs> Ooh, can we put in this match? What's CM Punk? Face paint Muda. I prefer face paint Muda, anyways. I don't like the mask Muda. And, uh. Hayabusa. Wrestlers. Tie right there. Survivor Series 01. Yeah. Love that gear. Give Kane some love. <coughs> That's funny how a lot of wrestlers now. Especially with uh, AEW, a lot of these wrestlers are not on there anymore. Jericho's gone. Hawkins, Brian's gone. Axel's gone. Dashwater, the revival. DDP's gone. Mock's gone. Latino heat. Let's see. Oni Lorcan, he's gone. The Colognes are gone. Primo's gone. It's funny how much of the wrestlers, Razor, Rhino. Just an insane amount of how many wrestlers are actually gone out here. Well, I'll throw a room in there. And let's see. Gotta, gotta throw a Triple H in there. Got to throw a Triple H in there. Off. In. All right, so we have the Great Muda, Kane. Uh, Van Dam, Eddie Guerrero. CM Punk, Hayabusa, Roman Reigns, and the game. And just for the fun of it, after this match, we're going to squeeze the singles match. It will be 
Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Brett the Hitman Hart. Just for the fun of it. Crap out of each other. CM Punk and Kane. I love that Kane. Still trying to find that action figure. <coughs> hey CJ, you got that figure of Kane? I know I'm still I'm still looking for that figure. I've had that Triple H figure, the tights. I got so many Van Damme figures, crazy. Yeah, I mean, I got the regular color ones. I remember changing the colors on No Mercy. That's the really fun of it. Oh, Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder by Van Damme. Snapping the arm, Hayabusa. I got, I got Shield Roman. Like straight Shield. I got, I got all three of the Shield members. Uh, NXT edition one? Yeah, I got him. I got the first uh, Demon Balor they did. I got the uh, uh, NXT Texas, the Texas Chainsaw one, and I got another one. title. I got the first AJ um, special one, the deluxe one or whatever the hell it is. I'm looking to find that two pack of Brett and Flair, or not, or not, Brett and Taker that they just came out with. I'll go great in my Bret Hart collection. German by Ayabusa. We don't the dragon screw. Yeah. He ain't gonna let him out of his contract though. Ooh, there's a Muda lock. Punk, but Van Damme's fighting out of it. Power bomb by Reigns. Oh, Eddie with the frog splash. Eddie's feeling froggy. A competitor has been eliminated. Hayabusa's gone. I hope we get Hill, Eddie Guerrero. Even the one where he had the, the slinglet and everything like that. We get the LWO music for the Ray. Um, thing on there. <coughs> That'd be awesome. Have that egg Guerrero. Oh, wait a minute. Five star and he nailed Eddie. He nailed Eddie and Muda. That's crazy. I know the NWO pack you still have like, you're supposed to have multiple attires. 
So that's gonna be interesting. Oh, choke slide the punk. A competitor has been Punk's eliminated. Gone. Now the Battle of the Frog Splashes. Ooh, double A Spine Buster. Muda's still in this. Kane went for a choke slam to Muda. Three amigos. The powerbomb. STF by the great Muda. Splash Mountain Powerbomb! And he try to steal the feet on the ropes. <coughs> now Kane's in a mood lock. Kane has been eliminated. Kane tapped out. Great mood up. Punch. Roman not keeping down after a Superman punch. Oh, Van Dam with a drop kick. He screwed Roman out of the spear. That's funny. Nice clothesline. Oh, wait a minute. Moonsault! Down and on Eddie. The moonsault by the great Muda. And Eddie kicks out of the moonsault. Oh, damn. Split leg. Yes. Split leg. By the whole effing show. <laughs> Two. Triple H has been eliminated. Well, um... <clears throat> Right now, kind of low on call spots. Van uh, Dam got speared by Roman. A competitor Ooh, has been eliminated. Gone. <clears throat> I'm kind of short on spots. Time. And after, Mar I, I said the first week of March, that uh, Monday, that first Monday in March. Oh wait a minute, Eddie with a Splash Mountain on uh, that first Monday of March. Um, I my calendar up here, so. Well, well, actually, it might be, um, I might do it Tuesday and Wednesday. A competitor has been eliminated. Bay Dim's gone Tuesday and Wednesday for uh, both manias because the following week will be, um, uh, to be. So, uh, I will not be streaming um, 2K on 19. I'll be getting ready for um, on how long it'll take for my, for my 2K20 stuff done. Oh, you mean uh, Fire Pro. Sorry, dude. Sorry, CJ. I had a brain fart, dude. My bad. Eddie has relentlessly not given up here. Oh, he got him with a DT. 
has been. It's all good. Oh, Froggy! Roman Reigns has been eliminated. Wow! Eddie Guerrero wins it. Kane missing with a clothesline. Bang in with the first split leg moonsault. I did not see that. <clears throat> yeah. Double A spine buster. Anna oh, I missed the Anaconda Vice. Eight man matches are hard to keep the gist of things. Here is your winner, Eddie Guerrero. Come on, Eddie, do the shimmy. Do the shimmy. You know, Eddie Guerrero. I really hope they give us the old old school version, the old heel version from WCW. That'd be so great. Even the slinglet version would be amazing. <clears throat> All right. We're going to do the main final match of the night. What I did there. Rina. Hey, someone asked me if I was streaming. Yep, this is a uh, final match of the evening. And we're going to turn entrance this on because why not? <clears throat> it will be... man himself the best there is the best there was the best there ever will be the excellence of execution and the fact that WWE got rid of Samoa Joe what the hell are they thinking as it will be Stone Cold Steve Austin Customize the match rules. It will be two out of three falls. No count outs. No DQ. <coughs> falls take place in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is your... Yeah, get rid of him twice. This is your main event of the evening. This is the last match of the stream. We hope you enjoy. It is two out of three falls. Brett the Hitman Heart. The excellence of execution. The best there is. The best there was. And the best there will be. Against the toughest SOB in the world wrestling entertainment. Stone Cold 
Steve Austin. Here we go. <coughs> Um, I will be most likely streaming Sunday. I got a show on Sunday I'm going to be doing. The following contest Monday and is Thursdays. a no disqualifications match. Unless Making for some his reason, way to the, the ring from Calgary, stream. Alberta, <laughs> Canada, <laughs> weighing in at 235 pounds. You're very welcome, pounds, Jesse. Brett, the Hitman, You were like him to try to... Get the word out. Always got to support my friends. Do what I can to help support them. <coughs> Turn my game volume down. Gotcha. Thank you. And yeah, his I opponent I turned, uh, from Victoria, Texas, and stuff like weighing that in at 252 sure pounds, Stone Cold Steve gotcha. Austin. <laughs> I have an old vest, Stone Cold. One wrestler I still want to meet. I still want to meet Stone Cold. And that would be awesome to get to meet him. I hope so. That would be awesome. I got to meet Brett. Meeting Brett was insane. And the Austin chance had begun. Side headlock by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Brett now side headlock. My wrist lock. Brett now just cranking on that. Then he sweeps him. Cool. I'm at Angle. I'm at Sting. Sergeant Slaughter. Kane. Nash. Lita. Kelly Kelly. Victoria. Ooh, elbow by Brett. Right here by Austin. <coughs> nice. I'm better at comp I'm better at Days of the Dead, which is really fun to go to. Uh-oh, what color are you dying it now? Oh, you're all right. Oh, it's all, hey, you're very welcome. Like I said, anything to do to help my friend out. Well, I hope you enjoy your night. Tell a little Shar Shar I said hi. And you stay safe, my friend. Because everybody 
You can go to her. Go find me to help little Sharshar out on vet bills. Do what you can. Donate what you can if, you, if you're able to. Dollar, whatever it is. Pressure, like I said, if you're able to, awesome. We greatly appreciate if you can. I know why everything is going now. Pandemic crap. Austin's going to the top rope. Why in the world Stone Cold Steve Austin going to the top rope? And he scored it. And Brett, no fall yet from these two. Lost body by the hitman. Leg drop by the hitman now. Brett, what do you be looking for? Oh no, Austin sensed it. He sensed the sharpshooter. It's like not happening. Now these guys are on the outside. No disqualification. No count outs. But falls must take place in the ring. Cole with a kick. Kicks the knee out underneath Brett. <coughs> oh, a little leg for the hitman. Brett comes back with one of his own. Right hand. Shot to the body. And a bulldog. The hit man. Hey, Blackheart, if you're in the stream still, um, I will get your wrestler tomorrow. Just give me a heads up. I will get your wrestler. I'll get you updated call tomorrow. Get a stunner? Not sure what he did. I missed it. Oh, he did hit a stunner. Okay. So it's one and O. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Austin and the rattlesnakes bust it open. Bellied up back, suplex by the excellence of execution. Back elbow by the rattlesnake. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Is in the corner. Austin with a boot to the face. And sends the hitman to the outside. Stone Cold is up 1-0 in this two out of three falls matchup. Right hand. Brett's thinking about what he's going to do with him. Shot to the body. Oh, throws Brett in the stairs.
Bulldog by the hitman. The hitman throws Austin back in the ring. Let's climb into the top. Elbow right to the back. <coughs> Double leg. He sticks the right leg in. Not normal to typical Bret Hart. But he wanted to throw Austin off his game, and he did. And a swinging neck breaker. By the hitman, quick to the pin. And no, only a two. Elbow to the head. By the hitman. Referee ran down. Austin in the, out of the corner. Right with a back elbow. And Brett with the Bulldog. Brett now. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, headbutt to the... Admin. Oh, look at this. Sharpshooter. The sharpshooter applied. Brett the Hitman Hart with a sharpshooter. And Austin Taft to the sharpshooter. Tied ball game. Brett Austin, you're beaten by Brett. Austin with a right hand. Gunbuster. <coughs> right back, no, Austin lands right on Brett. Table here. Right. By Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Texas Rattlesnake striking that anything moves. And now both men with the proverbial crimson mask. Red's busted open. Austin's been busted open. We've seen two sharpshooters. We've seen we've seen two stunners. Now, oh no! Nice gut wrench reversal by Brett. Running hard close line. By the hitman. He was on the top. Just ricochets the rope. <clears throat> Brett looking for that standing sharpshooter. Double leg. No, Austin with a knee lift. Right hand by Austin. Spine buster down. And the spine buster, Brett's head must have hit the hit the bat with a nasty thud. And when you take the replay of the action, Brett tempting for a sharpshooter there. The first sharpshooter Austin got out of. The second one he was not able to. Not reach the ropes. Knee lift, right hand. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Is your winner here tonight?
We had some matches here in Revelation X, and then we gave you some bonus matches as we had Okada versus Masawa. Then Cruiserweight Elimination Chamber, eight man brawl, and then Austin and the Hitman in a two out three falls match. <coughs> So, we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. For those who are already in the stream, you've seen the link for Zombie Moon. If you can help donate, please do. Every little bit helps. If you can't, we all understand. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming in here. Uh, we will be back this Sunday. Revelation X Lockdown. And as I said, one of the men's mystery entrants has been revealed. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be in the Lockdown Battle Royal this Sunday. A Texas Rattlesnake will be there. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Um, we are at 166 followers. Thank you. Thank you for your support. We will see you this Sunday. This is Stephen Rogers signing off.